Matthew Stafford played for both the Detroit Lions and the Los Angeles Rams. Which team do you think paid him the most? We'll compare his earnings, talk about his biggest controversies, and more as we dive into his lifestyle. John Matthew Stafford was born on February 7, 1988 in Tampa, Florida. His parents are John and Margaret Stafford. Matthew grew up in Dunwoody, Georgia and was the oldest one among his brothers. He later moved to Dallas, Texas, where he went to Highland Park High School. Matthew began playing football with coach Randy Allen as his first guide. The talented quarterback quickly began to display amazing skills, so he was named as one of the best quarterbacks in America in the class of 2006. Stafford took his team to a 15-0 record in 2005. That same year, Matthew's team won the UIL 4A Division I state championship. But that's not all. The USA Today also recognized him as the preseason Super 25 in 2005. Furthermore, he won the MVP and Best Arm Awards at the 2005 EA Sports Elite 11 quarterback camp. After graduating to later play at the University of Georgia, Stafford entered the 2009 NFL Draft and was selected by the Detroit Lions as the first overall pick. Today, he's a solid NFL player who has displayed impeccable skills throughout many seasons. In fact, Stafford has played for more than 13 years now and has achieved incredible fame and wealth. For this reason, Matthew lives an extremely comfortable lifestyle. The athlete loves spending his hard-earned money on the things he enjoys. Stafford's love for high-quality watches goes back to his time with the Detroit Lions. After signing a deal with the Lions, the quarterback was spotted wearing a $14,000 Rolex Daytona. But this isn't the only stunning timepiece Stafford owns. He has also been seen wearing a Patek Philippe Aquanaut 5167A, which cost him around $21,000, and a Patek Philippe Nautilus, which cost a whopping $19,000. As for his personal life, Stafford is married to Kelly Hall. After dating for many years, Kelly and Matthew got married in 2015. Kelly frequently posts photos from the couple's wedding day on social media, featuring one of herself in a gorgeous wedding dress. According to many sources, the wedding was a cell phone free zone and all guests were given a hat that they could personalize. There was even a Nike shoe bar where everyone could choose a pair of Nike shoes for the day. Matthew's wife attended the University of Georgia as well. She studied nursing and finally became a nurse in 2014. Kelly also has her own podcast called The Morning After, where she talks about her family and personal life as well as gossip and celebrity affairs. Stafford and Hall have four children together, all of which are girls. The eldest are identical twins Sawyer and Chandler, who were born in March 2017. After them comes Hunter in August 2018, and lastly, Tyler, who was born in June 2020. The Happy family currently lives in a gorgeous house in the San Fernando Valley. But this wasn't the only house the family has lived in. Matthew and his wife have traded a few estates over the years. The couple used to live in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan in a 12,000 square foot house. The mansion included five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and the biggest infinity pool in the state of Michigan. After selling the house, the couple bought a $15,000 square foot mansion in Hidden Hills, California for a whopping $19.6 million. But the couple never got used to living in the six bedrooms and nine bathroom, two acre mansion. So they only resided there for a year and sold it in 2022 for $21 million, making a fair profit of just over $1 million. After leaving the mansion in Hidden Hills, the couples bought two houses in San Fernando Valley from the famous rapper Drake for a decent $11 million. But if you're living in Drake's house, then you have to park some nice cars in it. Matthew Stafford has a collection of fancy cars, featuring a sleek Rolls-Royce Wraith worth $350,000, a Bentley Continental priced at $202,000, and a Ferrari 488 worth almost $300,000. Aside from these, Stafford also keeps a couple of SUVs parked in his garage. He has a Range Rover worth over $100,000 and an Audi Q3 that cost him $40,000. But how can he afford so many houses and so many cars? Well, Matthew Stafford has a total net worth of about $80 million. In fact, his net worth is one of the highest in the NFL. The talented quarterback is one of the highest paid NFL players in the world with more than $40 million in yearly earnings. 
With his massive level of wealth, Stafford makes the list of highest paid athletes in the league, tying sixth place with Dak Prescott of the Dallas Cowboys. And that's not all. The quarterback has also been on Forbes' list of highest earning athletes over the years. In 2022 alone, Matthew got paid $72.3 million between NFL salaries and endorsement deals, which was enough to make him the 13th highest paid athlete in the world. Out of the total amount, he earned $69.8 million playing football and another $2.5 million came from outside deals. Matthew even surpassed fellow quarterback Aaron Rodgers and golfer Tiger Woods with these stunning earnings. But what team do you think paid Stafford the most? The Lions during the start of his career or his current team, the LA Rams? Let's compare. After getting drafted by the Detroit Lions in 2009, Stafford signed a six-year, $72 million rookie deal that came with $48 million guaranteed earnings and an annual salary of $12 million. In 2013, Matthew signed three years of a $53 million extension deal with the Lions that offered him $3.5 million as a signing bonus, $41.5 million guaranteed, and an average yearly salary of $17.6 million. Every season, Stafford was making money hand over fist, but his big payday was yet to be found. In 2017, Stafford sealed another extension deal with the Lions, only this time because of his skills his contract offered him $135 million, one of the highest paid NFL deals at the time. The five-year agreement came with a whopping $50 million signing bonus and $60.5 million guaranteed. The contract paid him a yearly salary of $27 million. During his last extension deal with the Lions, Stafford was traded to the Los Angeles Rams with two seasons remaining in the five-year deal. However, Stafford signed a four-year, $160 million contract with the Rams in 2022. This deal featured a $63 million guarantee at signing. Similarly, his yearly annual salary, according to the deal, is $40 million. In 2022, the talented athlete earned a base salary of $1.5 million and a signing bonus of $61.5 million. If everything goes well, the next year his base salary will stay the same with a cap hit of $20 million and a dead cap value of $49.5 million. However, Stafford doesn't just rely on his contract money. He also endorses several brands to generate various sources of income. Matthew Stafford has signed endorsement contracts with many top-tier brands and companies. In 2022, he earned $2.5 million from endorsement deals only. Similarly, up until 2019, Stafford had accumulated around $5 million from these brands. Some of the big names inside his pockets include Nike, PepsiCo, Fanatics, Blue Cross Blue Shield, Ford Motor, Panini, and St. Joe's Hospital. Unfortunately, there were times when Matthew's public image was beginning to look bad. There are specific behaviors that will make you lose your popular support even if you've just won your very first Super Bowl. Unfortunately, a video taken during the post-Super Bowl festivities showed Stafford exhibiting just that kind of behavior. What happens next isn't graphic, but it definitely isn't pretty to watch. A video that has quickly gone viral on social media, taken during the LA Rams post-Super Bowl festivities, shows a photographer identified as Kelly Smiley, according to the Daily Mail, taking photos of quarterback Matthew Stafford and his wife Kelly. Suddenly, Smiley can be seen taking a step backwards and accidentally falling off the stage. You can see Stafford registering that Smiley has fallen, but then merely turns his back and takes a sip from his water bottle. Meanwhile, his wife immediately rushes forward to help. Anger at Stafford wasn't the only reaction though. A few Rams fans actually defended the quarterback, asking what else was he supposed to do? If you enjoyed this video, then you'll certainly enjoy his wide receiver Cooper Cup's lifestyle video. Now, do you think Matthew Stafford was being held back from his potential when he was with Detroit? Drop your thoughts in the comment section, be sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching.